Hey, this is Craig from St. George Paramotor and Jake's behind the camera there. And we want to do a brief instructional video for you in terms of installing the extensions for the cages on the trikes. And uh, what we normally do when we have a student here that buys a trike, we provide a one-piece extension for him to protect the cage, the lines, and the prop, etc. You'll take a look at those probably on the other videos. But uh, what I want to do is, is show a brief installation video so that there's no question. Because what happens when we construct uh, build these in the construction process, we have to split a alu aluminum pipe that has been bent to fit the curvature of the frame itself on the paramotor. But in doing so, and the welding, the high heat, causes a little warpage in the uh, half pipe here that fits on the frame. And so when you receive it in modular form or in the, the complete unit, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit right on the frame. But this aluminum, 6061 aluminum, is flexible, very, very flexible. And as you attach it to your frame incrementally down the line here, it will conform to the cage. This is the center of the top, so you line up the center of the paramotor itself, and I'll show you on that unit. Let's go over there. Well, let's do this. Sorry about having to invite you into my garage, but it's raining out there. But this unit right here is your modular unit. Comes in three pieces. And you will receive connectors. These aluminum connectors are basically sleeves that fit on the outside portion of the rim and are tied together, one on each side with a hose clamp that you'll put on there to squeeze those together. And uh, you'll have one there and, and one there. So you will now have a one complete unit to install. Okay. You'll also receive a package, 160 pound test zip ties. And uh, what you do, once you've assembled your unit, the three pieces are together, you'll bring it back and you'll see the two center posts for the middle of the top. You'll attach a zip tie there and bring it in and you don't have to cinch it yet, but center it, and then incrementally, as I mentioned, do the zip ties around, and you'll bend that back out to fit the circumference of your paramotor frame. Then, once it's all fit on there, you will do the uh, extreme tensioning. You'll bring these together so that they're really, really tight and make sure that the heads are inside the cage so that you're not creating any anything that the lines will catch on. You will have to cinch it on the sides as well, but it's smooth enough that the lines don't catch. It's not a problem. The cage itself is tapered so that the lines, if they're sitting back here, obviously they will be, they will roll out and roll up without any problem here there's nothing to catch on to they're uh, cantilevered there so this works for air conception and re, uh, protracta retracta retracta and other uh, modular type paramotors that have the exposed props behind them once you're launching uh, trikes um, you're into that extreme pressure on the sides. I do not recommend riser assists. I would suggest using your hands, learning how to do it properly with your hands, your A's, release, roll that wing up as rapidly as possible and uh, reduce the amount of pressure on your, on your rims. Um, 
This is the container, the box that you receive with your modular extension. And um, it's, a, it's a basic necessity for modular trikes uh, in safe paramotoring. Can you think of anything else, Jake? I don't think so. Okay, well, if you have any questions, text me. Um, my phone number is there on the website, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. You have a great day. Let's go flying. Let's be safe.